Euro guys, welcome to Guess the Football of the Series, in which you're looking for the player from the five clubs that they have played for and today, who are joined by Curbs. How are you doing, mate? Very well, thank you, mate. I'm excited. I think I've got some good mm. players today that uh, even people at home are going to be quite... Uh, struck by a hope the list is getting quite large now when i uh, copy and paste it to the next guest it's just getting ever so <laughs> literally like a paragraph now of just pure just random players basically yeah to be fair when, when i stepped in my house and i saw all these players i'm like holy moly that's a lot of people yeah you might think i'm wearing a argentina kit but it's actually a derby kit from many seasons ago which uh, i managed to dig out from uh my uncle's very big collection of Derby shirts. Uh, it's a nice one, though, because you never really get, like, an international... It's literally an Argentina kit, but with a Derby badge on. Especially since it's your team as well. It's like, what? <laughs> like, what? The funny <laughs> thing is we had an Argentinian that year, uh, Tito Villa, who Tito was ridiculously Villa. good for us. He was that good, we, sold, we had to sell him back to the Argentinian league. Shall we dive into today's episode? Go on, then, mate. All right, I'll fire you in first, and we will start off with... Let's go... Malaga. Oh, Malaga. So that's a, that's, that one's a weird one because remember when they had that takeover and then they had loads, spent loads, and then they've just dropped off when they go into the Champions mm. League. Let's go for Joaquin. He's played Not for Joaquin. a number. No, oh, fair enough. The next team I will give you is Hamburg. Interesting. Malaga and Hamburg. Mm. My knowledge of this yeah. is quite, quite low, actually, mate. So I'm going to say a Spanish player that I think may have played for Malaga that has been across Europe as well. So I'm going to go for Granero. Not a bad shout. It's not Granero. He did play for Malaga. I thought he um, did. I just didn't know if he'd yeah. gone to the Bundesliga or not, because he's definitely been to England and Italy. So Next club I will give you is PSV Eindhoven. So he's very well-travelled then, huh? Mm. It's his passport stamped. You know like how some rounds like players will just spring to your mind? This mm. one, that is... <laughs> that's, that's not happening. I'm, I'm absolutely stumped here, mate. I'm not going to lie. Next two will definitely help you. If you go for the rogue ones first, they really throw me off. I'll say it just in case. I don't know why, but he's the one that's popped to my head. So I'm going to say David Lopez. Not David Lopez. The next club is Real Madrid, though. Oh, of course it is. It's, wait, no, it can't be Van der Vaart, can it? Or was it maybe... Oh, I wonder if the last club's Everton for Royston Dronta. <laughs> oh, now that you've said Madrid, there's like... Opportunities oh, that's for so many annoying. players, yeah. Um... I'm going to say it just in case. Royston Dronta. It's not Royston Dronta. Um, oh, the final if, if, club is Manchester on. United. Sorry? Man United, Real Madrid, PSV, Hamburg, and oh, Malaga. Oh, well, I'm so annoyed. I know who it is now. Rude Van Nistelrooy, isn't it? There we go. That was rather rude of me. Uh, you oh, get one point, well done. for God's sake, man. I forgot he played for Malaga. Yeah. He had like a 78 rated card of... Oh. That's why I thought you might have remembered those two like Hamburg and Malaga cards. All right, now I've got to try and get you back. I think we'll start off with Newcastle. Is it Fraser Forster? It's not Fraser Forster, Ooh. mate. That's proper rogue. Jesus Christ, I love that. We'll go uh, We'll go across the other side of the tomb to Sunderland. There's not many that have done that. There's not that many, no, to be fair. No. I know that Jack Colback's done it, but you just wouldn't... Surely you wouldn't give me Jack Colback. It's not Louis Saha, is it? Wow, it actually is, yeah. Jesus Christ. Four points. How have you got that? He's literally played 11 times for Newcastle and Sunderland. That's what he does. That's what he does, Curves. It's my full-time oh, job. Oh, for God's sake. I thought that was so rogue. Like, Yeah. Ugh. Marshall did a video of me like ages ago. I think it was yeah. Tic-Tac-Toe. We were trying to find Sunderland and Newcastle links. And he was like telling me that Saha is a niche one. It, well, I mean, so, yeah, literally. Very niche. But <laughs> Newcastle in 1999 played 11 times mm -hmm. with one goal. And then 12-13, Sunderland, 11 games, zero goals. Oh, maybe I should have gone from, like, Fulham to Everton. Oh, oh, that's so annoying. Even the Fulham, I think the Fulham Newcastle. But then again, it could have been, like, Damien Duff if you said Fulham Newcastle. But that's true, either actually, way, fair, maybe yeah. the Tottenham, Tottenham, maybe Tottenham Newcastle. Because then you go, you like, off. Trippier yeah. or, you know, something like that. Yeah. Well, it's weird as well, because it says he played at Everton from 2008 to 2012, then went to Tottenham, and then went to Sunderland It also in 2012. January it's... at Tottenham to summer at New uh, Sunderland, something like that. Right then, next player for you, we will start off with a bit of Villarreal. Villarreal, bloody hell, you're loving La Liga today, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Villarreal, what should we start with? Cap de Villa. Not Captavia. The next club is Real Madrid. <laughs> God's sake. Villarreal and Real Madrid. I don't know why, but I want to say Iara Mendy. Is that, is that a yes? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's not Iara Mendy. The next club we will give you is Fulham. 
Villarreal, Real Madrid, and Fulham. Didn't even know there was a player that played between Real Madrid and Villarreal. Christ. Sorry, I don't follow him. My brain's sort of instantly going to sort of back in day when Big Woy was in charge of them. Was it someone who maybe played in their like Europa League time when they played like Juve and stuff? I mean, there's only, I don't mean, there's only one that we're I'm going to say Brian Ruiz. It's not Brian Ruiz. It's a great, no, great player there. Just so confused. Let's confuse a bit more with a bit of PSG. Oh, for Christ alive. There's The comments are going to be absolutely screaming knowing exactly who this is. Yeah, there's not many Fulham Real Madrid, to be fair. Well, there's not many bloody Fulham PSG either, really, is there? They must have spent their golden years at sort of like Real Madrid and PSG. Who has played for Fulham that's played elsewhere? Like, I don't know why, but the only player that's coming to mind is Clint bloody Dempsey. But he definitely hasn't played for Real Madrid or PSG, has he? Maybe you just think Real Madrid PSG links. I don't know why, but again, another goalkeeper, Ariola's coming to mind, but it's definitely not him. Why is it not Ariola Cubs? He didn't play for bloody Fulham, has he? Oh, wait, no, he has. It's not Ari... Nah, you're baiting me in. It's not Ariola, is it? Is that your guess? I don't think he's played for Villarreal, so... Oh, I don't know! Ah, oh, come on, we'll say Ariola. I can't think of anyone else, so may as well. And it is Ariola. Last call oh would have been uh, When West did he play Ham. for Villarreal? On loan, 15-16. My brain is yeah. in absolute autopilot today. It is crazy. Um, Let's go for... Let's go for Bournemouth. Is it Jermaine Defoe? No, not Jermaine Defoe. One day it'll be him. Let's go for... Newcastle. Mm, Matt Ritchie? No, no. Those two would be Ritchie. higher up there, wouldn't they? Uh, The next one will go for... Everton. Everton, Bournemouth, Newcastle. You've gone very uh, Spanish league today, and I've gone very yeah. Premier League. <laughs> yeah, you can get like two out of the three, but then it's linking all three together. It's not. No, it's not him. It's not. It's good to say Van Arnold for some reason. It's not Darren Gibson, is it? It's not Darren Gibson, no. mate. No. So we started at Bournemouth to Newcastle to Everton. We're now going to go for Manchester City. I've got one with three again. Is it Sylvan Distan? It is yeah, Sylvan Distan. When did he do Newcastle? He, he went on loan from 2001 to 2002, mate, from yeah. PSG. I was trying to stay... I think I was trying to stay away from the French ones, but mm -hmm. maybe I should have gone for the French ones and then said Newcastle at the very end, maybe. Right then, into your next player. And we will start off with... Let's start with Aston Villa. Who would have played for a number of clubs who's played for... Villa. Let's go for Ashley Young. It's not Ashley Young. The next club I will give you. Let's give you Liverpool next. Villa and Liverpool. Oh, what about the really old school? Oh, actually, I'm going to say Emil Heskey. Not Heskey. That's played for oh. both. Let's give you Bursa Spall. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait, no, Turkish League. Hang on. Who did who did Benteke go to? Oh, no. I think he went to Besiktas. No, it's not Benteke. That one's... That's really, really thrown me off. I mean, there's plenty of bloody Villa and Liverpool fans that are like, oh, it's so obviously this guy now. Mm. Oh, oh, it's one of those... Oh, it is a difficult one, huh? I mean, I could have given you another team instead of Villa. That's for sure. To be nicer. I'll let you know okay. there's another team in the Midlands that he played for. In the West Midlands. I might actually just have to say Benteke just because I don't have anyone else's name. I know that he's gone to Turkey, but I think he went to Besiktas. So I'm just going to say it. Probably wrong, but Benteke. Not Ben Teke, the next club clubs. I will give you. Uh, the Where did Argentina kit back in the day? Uh, it's Derby County. They're not the team of the Midlands, though, but Derby are. But, oh, okay, yeah. so there's, so there's been around team. three Midland-based clubs, mm. Liverpool and then Bursa Spore. Mm -hmm. Final club will definitely help you. Yeah. Well, I think Curtis Davis has gone between Derby and Villa. Don't know if he's played for Liverpool. Could have been a youth prospect from there. Don't really know. I'm just I, again. I've got nothing, so I'm just gonna say it. Curtis Davis. Not a bad shout, but it's not Curtis Davis. Uh, and the final club. Who's the last one? Uh, is Manchester City. Ah, oh, wait, no. Could it be Stephen Ireland? I know he played for City and. I love that Vistas. he went to Turkey for a couple of years. Really makes his career quite yeah, interesting. Just, why is Scott Carson just popped in my head? He's at City now. Has he been at Villa? I don't know. He's definitely played for Derby. Maybe young... Ooh. I'm going to say it. Scott Carson. It is Beaver Scott Carson. Hold on, for Kurt. God, of One course point. it is. Of course it is. 
<laughs> That's so disgusting. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I feel like I should have switched Villa and West Brom because he did play like three times more games for West Brom. But I kind of once, you, I, once I gave you Villa, then I kind of couldn't put West Brom in because I wanted to get Bursa sporting because it's crazy that he went to Turkey for a couple of years. Um, I, bro, I didn't even know he played for Liverpool, actually, to be fair. He was the no backup idea. goalkeeper. He's got a Champions League winning medal. Um, so he was the backup goalkeeper in uh, Istanbul 2005. All right, then, mate. Your next one. I'm going to give you one of my potential difficult ones, actually. So we're going to start with Real Madrid. Let's try Raul Albion. No, it's not Real Albion, mate. No. The next one, we'll go for Villarreal. You said there was no Real Madrid Villarreal links earlier. Well, apparently this guy has, so. <laughs> they just said it for Real, it like nobody's played for Villarreal. Villarreal. <laughs> Is it Granero? No, it's not. How interesting would that be? Because I've said yeah. his name. Yeah, yeah. that's why he's... That, that would like put it in your head, innit? Let's go for... Getafe. It's not Parejo, is it? It's not Parejo, mate, no. The next one we'll go for is Real Sociedad. Is it Ilaramendi? It's not, mate, no. Mm. Your final team is Mallorca. So he's most known for Mallorca. That's how he... I tend to do it, anyway. Most known to... He has played the most times for Mallorca, yeah. It might be just like end of his career. He's just put some numbers in. Diego Lopez, is it? It's not, mate. No. no. You'll who be really it? surprised who Getting this is. It's position. It's... Oh, okay. Winger. Winger. He's You're still playing. Way too or is he... old. Absolutely, he's still younger. playing. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. At Mallorca, or is he gone? Currently plays for Real Sociedad. Oh, he has a bell. No, it's not, no. mate. What is it's it? It's Kubo. Ah, that's yeah. Yeah, because he's had so many though. loans and he's obviously played like, what, mm -hmm. 60, no, 53 times for Mallorca. That's the most appearances he's ever had. I think he could have been a been... little bit, you know, just throw it in an FC Tokyo. That would have... Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, you would have got it instantly, in it? But yes, one of my hard ones worked. Let's go for this one next. And we will start off with Southampton. Um, Nathaniel Klein. It's not Nathaniel Klein. Oh, that, that bit of silence then I was like, oh. Because it's, uh, as the next club, Liverpool. Brilliant. Get them two Ricky together. Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Ricky Lambert, and I'll tell you why it oh. is, because the next club is Zenit St. Petersburg. <laughs> Zenit St. Bloody Petersburg, who's played for mm -hmm. Southampton and Liverpool. I'm mainly thinking from Liverpool to Zenit, really. Is it Voronin? It's not Voronin. It's not a bad oh. shout, though. It's not a bad shout. It's the only one that I thought that might actually be it. Give you one or two. I'm going to give you Leon next. So it's someone that definitely liked playing European football. That's for sure. Maybe could have put Liverpool higher, but I thought I'd do the Southampton Liverpool link. Zenit and Leon though. I'm kind of disregarding Southampton at the minute. I'm trying to think of players that have gone between those like big European clubs. Mate, I genuinely have no idea whatsoever. Last club Zenit definitely helps. Zenit Leon. This is going to be someone so obvious and it's annoying my brain. I'm just going to say this, mate, just to keep things going because I haven't got a clue. Ryan Babel. Not Ryan Babel. No, Did he need to do no it on the series as well. Yeah, yeah he's played for a load, isn't he? So. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the final I club know. I will give you is Dynamo Zagreb. Most prolific at Dynamo Zagreb. I'd say that that helps you them with the clubs that I've already given you. Do you know what? That's actually not helped me in any way. Actually, no. I've got no idea who this is. You know this guy. I do know this guy. Yeah, yeah. Still playing. Oh, it's Lovren. Dejan Lovren. Sake. For one point. Gets you on to five. Oh, that's so annoying. Of course, he plays for Leon now, doesn't he? Okay, mate. Let's go for... Um, Let's go for... Brentford. Brentford would be a bit of Ivan Tony. Why not? Nah, mate. No, no not really Ivan Tony. Just to be first as well. Indeed. Uh, the next one will go for a bit of Arsenal. It's not Brentford. Cole Jenkinson. No, not him, mate. He's also had a Pretty stint sure at Chelsea. Mm. I don't know. So I'm going to say William Gallas. It's not Gallas, mate. No. no. The next team would be Villa. It's the Chelsea and Arsenal being so early. It's like, I don't know if it's like end of their career or start of their career, being at one or the other. Mm. I think you'll get it on this last club as well. Yeah. Is it Ryan Bertrand? Like no, it, good guess no. though, good guess. Yeah. His final and most prolific club, mate, is Reading. Reading? Mm-hmm. Reading don't have any players. 
We have no formidable players. <laughs> That's toxic. Wow. <laughs> financial problems out there. <laughs> They they, they they got very cheeky in the transfer. They had like a four-day window where they weren't in a transfer embargo. They knew they were going to go into a transfer embargo. So in about four-day period, just signed like loads of players. They got like Robbie Savage's son in. And the only like Reading player I can think of is like Kevin Doyle back in the day. Kevin the Irish Doyle, striker. Baller. I'm actually really surprised you haven't got this. I would have thought you would have got this quite quickly, actually. Proper it's, not Danny, for this one. it's not Danny Drinkwater, is it? Confirming the guess? That. Yeah, why not? It's not Danny Drinkwater, no. mate. He was United if I were Academy, to... yeah. Yes, he was, yeah. yeah. If I were to give you another club, do you reckon you'll get it? I mean, go on, then. Fulham. Still doesn't help. All right, I'll give you the other club as well. Stoke. Stoke, Fulham. If you want a third one, he also played for Brighton as well. Is he still playing? No, retired in 2018. I... Do you want me to put you out of your misery? What, what, what position? Central midfielder. Central midfielder. I'm, I'm lost. Go on then. Put me out my misery. Mate, it's Steve Sidwell. Ah, Steve Sidwell. Big Stevie I think, Sidwell. I think you not putting Stoke on there is a bit cheeky. And he played 13 times, mate. I don't know why, but I just remember him in a Stoke shirt mostly. Yeah. Do you, do you want to know what's quite funny, actually? Okay, mm. he played less for Arsenal, but Stoke was the next least amount of appearances because he played... Yeah. Combined like 50 times for Brighton, 92 for Fulham, Fulham, 45 yeah. for Villa, um, mm -hmm. Reading 15, 168 appearances for Reading, uh, and then 30 games for Brentford. So he actually only played 13 times in two years for Stoke. Uh, we will start off with AZ. What would, what would be like a interesting Pingu one, maybe, from AZ Alkmaar? I don't really know many AZ Alkmaar players as well, actually, to be fair. Let's go for Labyad. Not him. The Bet. next club I will give you is... Let's give you Sampdoria next. Alkmaar Sampdoria. Brilliant. Okay. Um, Cecerini. It's not him. Okay. The next club is Venezia. Okay. You have not been very kind with this one. I shan't lie. Bacchetti. It's maybe. not him. No. Okay. No. Uh, the next club is Manchester United. What? Yeah. That's played for Sampdoria and Venezia and Amazing. AZ Alkmaar. Yeah, it's a good one, this. Sampdoria and Venezia is really throwing me off, though. Because mm. then I'm automatically thinking, oh, what Italian players have played for us, but... Alexander Budner. Okay, I'm going to write him down. I want to get this, because I have. I feel like I've actually got a really good chance of winning the episode because of this now. Is This la this last club's going to be his most prolific as well, right? Well, it just helps you. It puts just it together. To it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to say it to get his name off the the list. I'm going to say Makeda. It's not Federico Makeda. And the final mm. club is Boca Juniors. Do you know what, Curves? I'll let you know he's still playing. Still playing as well? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's Marcus Rojo, I think. Is that what you're going for? Uh, yeah, I think I am. Yeah, if he's still playing, then I think it is Marcus Rojo. Yeah. It's not a um, It's not? Who is it? Um, he was in that era at Man United, to be fair. He was there at six years at Man United, this player. Oh, for God's sake, it's Romero. Yep, there we go. Oh, Studio Romero. So is the I, know, I didn't know he played for Alkmaar, actually. I, I, I didn't even consider him because of that. That's why I put him on, because it's like crazy that he did so, so much. In, uh, I guess the Dutch do sign a lot of Argentinians. Okay then, mate. This is the hardest one that I could find, and I think a really niche one. The first club I'm going to give to you is Dynamo Kiev. Is it Voronin? No, mate, it's not, no. Uh, the next club I'll give to you is Borsa Spor. Kiev and Borsa Spor. It's not uh, Konoplyenka, is it? Oh, it's not, no. Good shout, though. The next one, let's make this a little bit more tasty. Queen's Park Rangers. I know it is, Cubs. Do you? the episode. No, it's you don't. Samba. Oh, no, it's it not. not Samba. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Wow. Sure did. Mate, I thought, yeah, I mean, he might have done, but it's not the player I'm looking for, mate. The next one I'm looking for, AC Milan. Hmm. It's not Park Sung, is it? No, mate, it's not. Mm. And the final club is Marseille. Dribble C say has done a lot of those, but I don't think he's done AC Milan. Oh, 
It's the uh, left back Tewo. Tewo. It is. Well we done. Go. Yeah, that's a very, very oh, good one, mate. Got very it in the niche. End. Yeah. yeah. I John could have Onorisa. been horrible with that, by the way. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm I, could have, at it now. I could have given you Helsinki, Luzan, yeah. Eskil Stuna, Rops, Doxter, Catacopius, Palm Beach Stars, Sot Angelo, and Salpa. Like, what? <laughs> Weird, though. It's like crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy interesting the way it's. It's, yeah. The way it panned yeah. out, isn't it? Hundred percent. Still, like two hundred games for Marseille is ridiculous, really. Yeah, exactly. Um, I thought he played way more games for Milan than four as well. Yeah, you like you remember the Milan FIFA card. Um, mm. Anyway, hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's episode. I have just won it uh, at the end there nicely. I think I was on seven and you on five, but it'll be on. I think so. I think so. I should have got Romero, mate. I'm kind of a tilted at myself. Yeah, but Rojo is pretty similar as well. Scott Carson was cheeky. You know, with the burst yeah. of sport. You, you always try and fit a Derby player in there somewhere, so got to be done. <laughs> got to be done. Um, but yeah, make sure you <laughs> drop a like if you did enjoy today's episode. Check out Curbs as well. Drop us up to him and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you all next time.